right, today we're going to replace my stock clutch ramp with a newer power clutch. So first thing we want to do is put the box up on stands so that uh, we get into the primary without leaking too much. I lift it up on the front. All right, our next step is to loosen up the clutch cable. We'll pull up the boot. Uh, loosen it up so you have plenty of play at the clutch lever and uh, it's also so that you'll be able to take the clutch cable off of the clutch ramp when you get into the primary next step is to open uh of the primary inspection cover. Screws. comes off. Uh, make sure you uh, keep an eye out on this gasket right here. You don't want to damage it. I'll just leave it on there. It looks like it's stuck right now so I'm not going to move it. Wipe up some of the oil so that it doesn't leak out of the primary. On the floor. Okay. Next step, take off this little lock nut and you are going to turn clockwise to take the retaining nut off once the retaining nut is off the clutch ramp will come out. The stock clutch ramp will come out. So just pull on it, it'll come out. Make sure you hold on to this little metal piece that's uh, attached. This little metal piece that's attached to the end of the clutch cable. Because if you don't, and it falls down into the, into the primary cover, then you're going to have to go digging around for it. So this is the stock clutch ramp, a little piece of hair stuck to it. This is the Mueller, the Mueller power clutch. Mueller power clutch here. Good. 
So this is the Mueller power clutch. I orient it the same way as the stock one, so the little nub is up, same way. So it's going to go in the same way, going like this. Again. So to put it back together, a little connector hooks onto the end of clutch cable. That goes in. Um, just put the the clutch ramp in, the uh, Mueller power clutch. And the uh, next step is to put the lock nut back on. So you put it on there, you hold it. Um, to tighten, you'll be turning counterclockwise. So you just hold it in place, turn counterclockwise until <clears throat> the lock nut gets far enough in that uh, the lip catches on uh, the clutch ramp. You're going to tighten it all the way down. So, um, the procedure for setting your power clutch is different than the stock procedure for. Um, setting your clutch uh, adjustment. So you're supposed to get you're supposed to get a light bottom, uh, and from playing around with it in the past, I found that you know light bottom isn't just feeling uh, a little resistance. I actually turn it until I just feel it stop, and then I turn it an eighth of an uh, an eighth of a turn. Um, your normal stock adjustment is about a quarter of a turn. Um, the reason for this is everything with everything with Everything with your adjustment with the power clutch has to be more um, precise because the because your uh, friction zone on the power clutch is going to be a lot longer than your stock uh, friction zone, and that's the trade-off for having for having this setup um, to allow you to have less uh, power necessary to pull uh, the clutch you are actually just kind of spreading out that uh, energy over distance so your friction zone is going to increase with this power clutch so if you were just if you adjust the clutch the same way you would adjust it when it's stock, you're going to run into some problems with um, maybe the clutch not fully disengaging. Um, you know, you're going to have a lot less play at the clutch lever. Also, I think uh, they said uh, an eighth of an inch uh, play in your clutch lever is stock. You're going to have a lot less. It's going to be closer to like one sixteenth of an inch or even less than that. You're gonna to have to play around with it until you decide what is the best uh, setting for you in terms of where, uh, where you still get full clutch engagement and disengagement and um, not having enough free play at the lever and so that your, your clutch isn't always pulled in. Um, okay, so the next, next uh, step. So <clears throat> this, this is uh, your best friend. Um, I like it a lot, it's called the Loctite Stick. Uh, this is blue Loctite. I uh, found it online on Amazon and it's a lot easier to use than regular Loctite because 
you know, it doesn't uh, run. So I use it uh, all the time to kind of keep things from jarring loose. So you want to put some blue Loctite on there. Then you're going to put your cover back on. Screw it back in. You don't want to tighten it uh, too much. Um, I, I tightened it jokingly. We say it's guten tight, but um, I just hold my ratchet and I go up to it and I turn it about you know like a quarter of a turn once I once it gets tight. And um, that generally seems to be okay for me. I don't have any problems with a leaking or stripping in your screws or anything like that. All right, so now, now that the adjustment's done inside the primer, we have to go back to the clutch cable and adjust the clutch cable. find it very useful to um, pull the clutch lever fully and release it a few times to kind of knock out any, um, if it's stuck on anything. Still quite a bit of play. And already I can feel a huge difference in the um, the clutch pull uh, on the lever. Um, I do have a Energy One clutch with a, with a 15 or 20 percent stronger spring. All right. So as you can see, there's not a whole lot of play at all. There's not a whole lot of play at all at the lever. Um, this is just my initial set, uh, setting. I'm going to start the bike up, um, put it into uh, first, put it into neutral, uh, ride it, and uh, make adjustments uh, based off of that. All right, so uh, adjust the clutch. Um, Turned on the bike, put it into first. Felt a little, uh, little drag on the clutch. Uh, bike was drifting forward a little bit, uh, <clears throat> but I have adjustable levers, so I just uh, moved the adjustment on uh, my lever uh, up a setting, and the setting seems to good be good now. But uh, this is something I do. Uh, every time I ride, I take my tools with me. I have a small tool kit. Um, <coughs> I have a set of uh, gloves. I'll have uh, some wrenches. You know, the 916 wrench and an adjustable wrench for clutch adjustment is good. I also have, I have more than one. I bring a couple. Um, just, just in case I need it. I also bring uh, bring any attachments for like the Torx uh, Torx uh, bits like like this. Um, 
I find that sometimes you need to tighten up stuff. Uh, it's good to have. So you make yourself a toolkit, and uh, you can make adjustments when you ride. So the next time I ride, I will pay attention to, to how the clutch feels and make any adjustments when I uh, stop somewhere or whatever uh, time allows. So it's pretty simple. Um, like I said before, uh, the, the clutch pull is a lot easier now with the Mueller Power Clutch in. Um, if you have a stock, if you have the stock uh, clutch pack with the stock spring, um, generally speaking, the resistance isn't too great. But in my case, I got the Energy One clutch pack with a stronger spring. Uh, and I also like to uh, use two or one finger on the clutch. So I found it necessary for me to get the Mueller power clutch to help me make the clutch pull a lot easier. Anyhow, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, and I look forward to uh, showing you guys some more stuff later.